Radio, and it's a positive mental note. I love that, Lorraine, that your your article in the Friday Williston Herald is titled A Positive Mental Note. No kidding. Because, hey, <laughs> <laughs> we all need to start. It, it's Monday. Yeah. We need to start our week on a positive mental note. And that's what we're doing today on The Bakken is mm-hmm. Talking. 774-0306 or 1-800-238-0306 if you'd like to call in with a question for Lorraine Purcell. Tell us about what you offer as far as counseling services, et cetera. Great, Dee. Um, well, my master's degree is in marriage, family, and child counseling. I have been serving families since 1995. I'm also a board certified educational therapist, which means I work with learning disabilities, learning differences. I hate that word disabilities, learning differences. And uh, I'm, a, I'm a parent mentor and uh, you know my, the work that I do has a little bit of counseling in it, but it's mostly coaching to bring out people's brilliance because I believe everybody has their own answers inside of them that everyone knows what is the right and appropriate thing for them to do. And I'm just there to mirror it and bring it out and say, see how brilliant you are. And you inspire me, Lorraine. (laughs) It's like every Monday, this is my therapy here with you. And I so appreciate you. You inspire me. Your article in Friday's Williston Herald. I'm telling you, I know me, myself and other folks here in Williston and the Bakken, wait for Friday. <laughs> I do. I wait and I get the Friday Herald and Yay. I'm like, okay, I turn to the, I turn, you know, where is the, where's the column? Uh, and the, your column Friday, your article Friday, it, oh, the best yet, Lorraine, mm. the best yet. So, well, you know, I write those to myself, actually. That's what I, I write. I said, to him, okay, what am I going to write about today? It's usually what I'm going through. And then I offer it out, uh, you know, coming from a place of vulnerability and how we, I just kind of the pep talk for all of us. You You're know? writing to yourself as well. Oh, yeah, primarily. <laughs> primarily. <laughs> As and I a, may have overcome some of those things, <laughs> but you know, there's always the next thing, the next thing. Do, does it give you more empathy and more um, for your clients if you experience oh those down times, if you suffer those down times? Yes. Yes. Things are not cut and dry, black and white. They are, you know, we're emotional creatures. We're here having the human experience on earth. And it's, uh, you know, it's the, the earth school which means we get ourselves into all these messes where we need to learn and grow how to elevate above. It's the school of hard knocks. Yes. Sometimes. (laughs) Oftentimes, not always. I won't say that we learn. Our learning from our mistakes is the best thing. I will not, I will never say that because we can just transcend that, the mistakes and the pain. But, uh, you know, definitely we do learn from our mistakes and I won't even call them mistakes. They're not mistakes. They're just what we happen to do next. And then we go, oh, better to go to left or better to go to the right or better to go straight ahead. So can I ask you, what mm-hmm. are you seeing right now as far as Williston and the Bakken? Are you seeing a, a particular problem or a recurring emotional disturbance or something that you keep seeing here in Williston mm-hmm. and the Bakken with your clients? I mean, don't you don't have, I'm not asking you to get no, personal, no, no. of course, because you have a confidential relationship Absolutely. with with all of your clients. Yes. And, and folks, if you call in with a cre- question for Lorraine, we don't ask you to give your name. You don't even have to go live on the air with us if you only if you desire to do that you can give your question to Thomas and he'll take your call but do you find are you finding patterns that are repeating here in Williston and the Bakken well what I'm finding uh, lately with all of my 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 clients my clients from Hawaii California uh, and then the Bakken is um, relationship issues right now. A lot of relationship issues, which tells me that people are wanting to emerge into a place of peace and harmony in their relationships. Because people call me because they want to feel better. 
They want to feel good. And so when they're having relationship rubs. That, those, that friction yes, with relationships. Yes. Mm-hmm. And it could be some old stuff surfacing and coming mm-hmm. up, kind of, you know, bubbling up. Sorry, but like a pimple or something. Mm-hmm. So uh, I hope I just didn't completely gross everybody out. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's like that. It is like that. All this stuff comes yeah. to the surface. And then I get this call. And it's because people really do desire relationship peace. They they desire family harmony. And so that's what I will say that I'm noticing uh, lately with my clients. And you do have couples. I that, work that, with couples. Yes. Very. I work very you. well with couples. Okay. I've saved marriages over the phone from Hawaii to California. And now, I mean, the local people get to have me in person, but I work with everyone else over the phone. Any idea as to why those relationship issues are bubbling up to the surface now? Well, I think that uh, what's going on on the planet right now is that we are, we are evolving to a place of more harmony. We are evolving to a place of more peace. Even though it might appear on the surface that it's not, there is this hunger and this deep current going throughout everybody on the planet right now. We want peace. We want harmony. Enough with the war. Enough with the fighting. Enough with all this junk. We're better than this. So... Um, what was your question? <laughs> no, you're answering it. Why? Why are you seeing relationship mm-hmm. fric- the friction there, uh, those difficulties, and why are people seeking that peace in relationships? And I suppose that the the when we talk about relationships, it does not have to just be. Uh, a man mm-hmm. and a woman mm-hmm. or a friend and a friend or mm-hmm. a co-worker and a co-worker is just child. as you were a parent and child just as you were just saying mm-hmm. country to country mm-hmm. uh, state to state here even state to state within yourself um, because in, in our own country just when, when think, people call me with depression it's because they're at war with themselves and it's about relating to yourself and being kind and gentle to yourself like you and I have discussed so many times and on this I show. And I was gentle to myself Yay! last week. I took your advice. Awesome. And see you're my you're my therapist here Lorraine. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you're our therapist. You come in every Monday afternoon and you just inspire us and you make us feel good about ourselves. And I was gentle to myself last week. I actually Actually went uh, to uh, I think it was last Thursday evening my husband and I went to a Christmas musical mm. uh, at one of the local churches and and it was just soothing to the soul Lorraine just to mm. sit there and just let that that those Christmas carols <sighs> even Scandinavian carols that I didn't know nice. existed I didn't know there were Scandinavian Christmas carols <laughs> but there were there are and just let that music just wash over me you know and just sit there and just feel the peace and it was it was wonderful mm. it was that that was good therapy too gorgeous we're going to be back with more and be back w- with lorraine purcell when we return 774-0306 or 1-800-238-0306 i'm going to talk to lorraine when we come back after the break about her article that i've got here in front of me from the uh, williston herald uh what are our deepest fears what are mm. our deepest fears lorraine and what is holding us back from from us becoming all that we can be and being uh rising up to the full potential that we have had in us since the beginning mm-hmm. since okay before birth so that's what we're going to talk about when the bakken is talking returns on the new keys am 660. news talk weather and sports it's all here on your source for news and information for Williston and the Bakken. The new Keys AM 660. Welcome back to Mental Health Monday with Lorraine Purcell. She's in the studio with me this afternoon. 21 minutes past the hour, 7740306. Here are the phone numbers if you'd like to call in and ask a question to uh, Lorraine, 7740306 or 1-800-238-0306. Glad to have you along with me this afternoon, Lorraine. You know, we we were talking before the break about um Meeting our potential, the mm. potential that has been within us since the beginning, since mm-hmm. before our birth. Conception. We, we have potential that is planted within us. I believe, mm-hmm. I, I truly believe that. So let's talk about playing small versus playing big. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm referring to your column, A Positive Mental Note, in Friday's 
uh, Williston Herald, and you, you uh, such a such an inspiring article. And you talk about playing small versus playing big, or in other words, uh, rising to that potential. Are we going to play small, or are we going to go? Play big. Mm -hmm. uh, what is holding us back, Lorraine? What are our deepest fears? Well, I I can't say that we don't fear failing or, or being laughed at. But, you know, when we really think about, do people really laugh at us if we fail? I think people really want us to succeed because it is the human condition to want to give and to contribute and or part of the, the human condition, the higher nature part of the human condition. And what this article talked about was that um, we fear getting big. We fear success. We fear success. Because we all have dreams. We all have we dreams. We have dreams. We yes. have goals that yes. we would like to accomplish in our lives. We know we have potential to do more. Yeah. But we fear success. Why? <laughs> Why would we fear success? I think it's, um, okay, I think it's societal. Um, because there's such a stigma with being conceited or talking, you know, Will Rogers, uh, decade, decades and decades and decades ago said it, it ain't bragging if it's true. So <laughs> well, if, that's true, Lorraine, yeah. because bragging is obnoxious, but when you're stating facts, you're just stating facts. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there is something very big and rewarding to have someone go, yeah, I did do that well, didn't I? You know, often I'll sit with clients and I'll say, you know, tell me, uh, a list of five things you really like about yourself. And you would be surprised how long it takes them to sit there and come up with something. And I think it's because we have the social conditioning, often conditioning from our church. And I'm not saying anything bad about the churches, but you know, God is within us. We should, you know, Jesus says, do not put that light under a bushel, you know, shine your light up on a hill mm -hmm. and um, let your light shine, let your light shine. And mm -hmm. that's, that's, I think, you know, we fear that, you know, if, if we start making money, are they going to like us for our money? Will we lose our family and friends? Will they, you know, and it's not us that changes with the money. It's, it's, uh, and I'm talking in the future. I haven't gotten there yet, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to it. Um, you know. Do you think we're afraid of what people are going to say about us? Is that a big fear? I think it's possible. Or what they're going to think about us? But I us? think it's more, can we can we expand ourselves to to carry that? And I quoted Marianne Williamson in this, and it's it's often her her um, her quote is often misquoted as coming from Nelson Mandela, and it does not come from Nelson Mandela. It comes from her, and one of her one of the favorite things that I love in there is that we do nothing. We contribute nothing to people if we keep ourselves small. And you know how we keep ourselves small to make other people feel okay? I spent my whole life doing because that. Because we don't want to offend or we w don't want to intimidate others or make them feel small. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she says, it's when you, when you rise to your grandeur, do you encourage other people that they can too? Mm-hmm that's the mission that that's the whole point it's not about me mm -mm. it's not about you or it's not about me it's not about d james it's about what can i do to encourage others and build them up yes yes and i think when we realize how powerful we really are in a positive way it frightens us because we have these self images that were just these little i'm going to make this funny little sound i make all the time you know, just like a little mouse making this little noise in a corner, like we're, we're just nothing down there. And that's kind of where, um, the last, you know, thousands and thousands of years have wanted us to be. And we're really coming out of that now. There's nothing holding us back anymore. Nothing spiritually, emotionally, we've just got to believe it and go for it because we're in this era now where, when we think it, it happens almost instantaneously. With so technology, are you referring to no, technology? No, I'm talking about what we were talking about last week with the shift that's going on now. So if you do want to have your greatness come out, start believing it. Start acting as if it's already happening. Start, um, start uh, envisioning, right. envisioning, envisioning yourself in that place. Yes. In that place where you want uh, to be. Yes. As if it's happening right now. Uh, and, and it will come to pass. I mean, things are accelerating this next, 
year, 2014, is like, hold on to your seat. Like that, that Max L commercial where the guy's sitting in the chair just getting his hair blown back by the sound. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be like that. I love your sound effects, Lorraine. <laughs> You're, you're, you know, if we ever, if our sound effects library ever just, you know, crashes, oh, we've got Lorraine <laughs> with her beeps, her little mousy sounds and, and the guy and the, and the Max cell. I mean, we're already there in 2013, but 2014 is going to be, you know, if, if you want it. And it's for the right reasons, I believe. I believe that's the asterisk motivation. I'm going to put on there. You're talking about right motivation of the right heart. Right motivation. In like, the heart. Like contributing, mm-hmm. you know, because this giving world. Giving back to the community. Yes, giving back to the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know. We, that, that is so inspiring, Lorraine. Wow. And everyone's got a gift. I can't wait for 2014 now. So if you if you think it and you believe it and, uh, you know, wallow in it like, like a pig in mud. <laughs> wallow in it like, okay, I have this great analogy. My stepmother used to make fruitcakes. I cannot stand fruitcakes. <laughs> but she would make this fruitcake that would live in the refrigerator for a year. And then every month she would pour rum, high quality rum, <laughs> over that rum cake every, every month. And that thing was so good by the end of the year. So just just <laughs> wallow in that excellent rum uh-huh. of whatever wallow your dream is. Mm-hmm. And yeah. be that. Be, be it. Mm-hmm. Feel it. Feel I good. I am so inspired right now. Uh, Lorraine Purcell, we are going to spend some more time with Lorraine. We're going to have to take a time out here. It's 29 past the hour. Thomas is going to give us a weather update and some more and some more information. But we will return with Lorraine Purcell. And don't forget, you can call in today with your questions at 774-0306 or 1-800-238-0306. The Balkan is talking returns with Lorraine Purcell and Mental Health Monday on the new Keys AM 660. It's an hour and you miss a lot. Stay informed on your news and information source for Williston and the Balkan. The new Keys AM 660. Welcome back to the Monday edition of the Balkan is Talking. It is Mental Health Monday. Lorraine Purcell is in the studio with me at 39 minutes past the hour. And I want to give you those phone numbers again that you can call in uh, with a question. What are you afraid of? What is your deepest fear? What's holding you back from accomplishing your dreams, your goals? What, what, uh, what are your dreams for Williston and the Bakken in 2014? 774-0306 or 1-800-238-0306. Lorraine, uh, we've been talking about playing small versus playing big. What is holding us back? Now, one of the things that holds me back is not a fear of intimidating others so much or puffing myself up. It is fear of disappointment and hurt oh, good one because mm-hmm. i have you know once you've been hurt yeah once you've been disappointed you do not want to experience that again and so you play it safe yeah. and you play it small yeah uh and you know the risk the the it's just living is is a risk yeah i guess that you might say but yes speak to that what uh, what about that fear of disappointment and which leads us to quit even before we even start yeah it sure does yeah we just don't want to feel that hurt anymore you know I had that dream before and it didn't come true well maybe things just weren't lined up maybe it wasn't your time yet maybe you weren't ready yet maybe your family wasn't ready yet if you have kids and you know husband or a wife maybe maybe that stage wasn't wasn't set yet yes and and something a quote from an author that just really inspired me was, uh, and I'll probably paraphrase this, something along the line of, it's never too late to reinvent yourself mm-hmm. and go back to the drawing board whenever life just kind of caused you to put those dreams on the sideline because life's responsibilities and, and just living life, like you said, res- family responsibilities, mm-hmm. just kind of forced you to put those dreams to the side. And I give people in the Bakken so much credit. Actually, people, anybody who's getting a hold of this recording right now, or once it's on the recording thing, um, you know, because so many people here are starting over. 
bless your heart. Bless you, bless you, bless you. You uprooted, you got here, you left your family behind so you could send them a check, and you're here in this icy weather starting over. And I just want you to know I'm behind you. I I feel it. I'm there with you. I give you so much credit. I do too, Lorraine. I mean, it's not easy mm-hmm. leaving home, leaving family, and coming to Williston and the Bakken to uh, you to get a job uh, and 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 be a part of this community. Uh, not just not just working and, and getting a job. I mean, it, there's it's more there's more to it than that, of course. But uh, that's not an easy thing to do. To f- to try to to try to live out those dreams. No, fulfill and, those dreams. Do you, Lorraine? Are sometimes are some dreams not ours to chase after? You mean like if I wanted to be Britney Spears or something? <laughs> 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 yeah. Do we have to be realistic about our goals? Well, I think to a degree, yes. But you know, it's not always those those kinds of dreams. Uh, it's more. You know, there is a there is a seed, there is a kernel, there is a flicker within every single one of us, and that is your gift. I know that mine is to uplift people, <laughs> and that Absolutely. has become very very present to me since I've gotten the the newspaper article and doing this wonderful show with you every Monday. D, it's solidified. Every one of us has a little spark that is our thing, and it's usually just one or two words like that: uplift people. Okay. Um, so, uh, we don't know what form that's going to take, but when we start stepping in that direction, we feel a sense of fulfillment. We feel good. We feel satisfied. Now there are other people who are destined to be on the stage. They're destined to be those rock stars. They're destined to be, you know, the MTV artists with the whole video chorus behind them or whatever, and be on everybody's iPod. Mm -hmm. Um, Or an American Idol. Or or an American Mm -hmm. Idol. And, and that is their gift. That is their gift. And, uh, you know, that's not my gift, but it's their gift. So I'm not to judge what what anyone's gift is. But when you start to step in that direction, just the implementation of walking out your dream just fulfills you and just makes you feel so good. Someone told me once to, uh, this was a piece of, of advice, tether your dreams or your goals, tether your goals to what gives you the most satisfaction Mm -hmm. in life. Yeah. What does that mean? Well, because then if you go out, meaning if you like poof, leave the planet, um, you at least... There you go, poof. (laughs) There you go. There's one of those sound effect things again, (laughs) poof. I love it, Lorraine. I'm sorry, I interrupted. No, that's okay. Then you uh, you have fulfilled your destiny every moment of every day as you walk in that simple little path that brings you life brings your children life brings your husband life brings your your husband your your wife life brings your co-workers life brings the guy in the grocery store life you know it's it's that you know because we don't know when our time's going to be up and it's not a destination we don't arrive we never arrive on this planet we're always in more and more and more progress getting better and better there's you know it, it's it's a work in progress right we right. never arrive <laughs> we are not like a table that is imagined and then created and then finished and then set in a corner we will always be growing as long as we take a breath on this earth we'll be growing and moving toward that i'm, I'm just waving there to to Uh, Captain Joshua Stansbury of the Salvation Army. We're going to be talking with him soon as well. But, uh, you know, that that is so encouraging that we are a work in progress. Always will be. Everything is not just finite. We can't look at everything as just it make everything just so cut and dried, as you said, and so finite. There will always be another desire Mm -hmm. and another desire and another desire. And on that note. And another goal and another goal. Yeah. Yeah. Because we are we are. That's who we are. That's our, that is our. That's our human, is that our human condition? It's part of the, to it's always part, be evolving? Yes. 
Yes, it is. And that's why we're so unsatisfied when we just get stuck and we just stay because there's a desire that we're denying ourselves of. And speaking of desire, you were wanting me to say something about giving joy with fewer toys. Yes. And, um, you know, our children also have desires and you do them the greatest service by not just going out and buying it for them. We need to teach them how to earn money to do this because when you think about your child... Uh, leaving your home, emancipating at 18 when they can. We don't know if they will or not, but if they can, what are the things that they're going to be need to be masterful in? And one of those things that's so important is earning money, saving money, using money wisely, being able to you know get and keep a job. So let's say your your child wants something that's a hundred dollars for Christmas. You know, I suggest slicing that in half and saying I will pay for half of this. The other half, I'm going to help you earn the money to earn it, to create it yourself. And then they have so much ownership in that and pride. Think about when you were able to buy something and you worked really hard for it, how that we have to give that to our kids. We really have to give that to our kids. And I know I'm asking you to roll up your sleeves as a parent, but that's a big part of the parenting job. Mm -hmm. We need to prepare our children for life when they leave the nest. That's very good advice, Lorraine. Lorraine Purcell is on the program today. It's Mental Health Monday. We're going to take a break and be right back with the Bach and his talking on the with the Bach and his talking on the. You won't miss a thing. News, talk, weather, and sports. Get it here on your news and information source for Williston and the Bakken. The new Keys AM 660. Welcome back to the Bakken is talking on the new Keys AM 660. 52 past the hour. We're going to uh, rejoin our visit here with Lorraine Purcell. And you've got a workshop coming up, uh, Lorraine. Yeah. Uh, Saturday, June 18th from 10 to 130 uh, 10 a.m. to January, January the 18th, January 18th. Okay. So you got some time to plan ahead and mm-hmm. register. It's called get what you want in 2014. I'm <laughs> going to have some, <laughs> some great, great workshop things. Uh, we're going to be doing some exercises that are going to put that in place for you. And you're going to register at Williston State College, uh, the community ed section. Mm-hmm. So go ahead and sign up for that. If you have any questions about anything of my classes, just feel free to call me at 808-936-4370. 808-936-4370. And I invite you to text me your blessings every single day. <laughs> this will uplift your spirit so much. And my coach, Ken Foster... This is what he had me do when I first came to the Bakken, and I was really down because my practice wasn't established, and I was like, oh. So um, he said, text me your, email me your blessings every day, but I find it, it helps to have people just text it to me, and I may just text my blessings back to you. And also, if you would like to uplift your inbox, please go to yourkidslovinglife.com and opt in to be on my email list. I send out a Monday parenting thing and the Friday article from the Williston Herald. And I also put out the radio reminder and we're going to be having some free teleclasses coming up and just lots and lots and lots. I mean, you just, you can't hook in and not be happy. Okay. (laughs) We'll get you one way or another. So it's yourkidslovinglife.com. Y-O-U-R-K-I-D-S. L-O-V-I-N-G, life.com. So go there and sign up. And also Thomas is on the case with getting all the recordings from the past shows on LorrainePurcell.com. I've got my web guy on it. So we should be having these things up here within the next day or two. So sorry, I've been uncoordinated and haven't gotten that thing happen. It's hard for me to email them out. Yahoo says that they're too big. So it's um, L-O-R-R-A-I-N-E. P is in Paul, U R S is in Sam, E L L dot com. <sighs> That's okay, Lorraine, because as you said, we're we're a work in progress. <laughs> That's what we are here at the New Keys AM six sixty. We're going through a transition and going through growing pains, and we'll get there. Yes, we will. Yes, and and those uh, we've had folks, we've had listeners actually ask us here, uh, how do we get past programs? How do we listen to past programs of Mental Health Mondays on on the radio with Lorraine Purcell? Can we buy CDs? Where do we get where do we get those programs? So very soon they will be on your website, LorrainePurcell.com. dot com. So that's exciting. I'm excited about that. Thank you so much, Lorraine, for being here yes. with us. Final thoughts or in words of encouragement? Inhale what you want. 
uh, exhale all the things that are in your way. In fact, let's just do that for a quick second. All right. Inhale. What do you want? Exhale. Everything that tells you you can't, you're not good enough, you're not good enough, you're not good enough. No way, no way, no way. Blech. Get rid of it. In with the good. Out with the gray mist of ick. And then in with love. And exhale love. And we will visit with Lorraine Purcell again next Monday. Thank you, Dee. Thank you. All right, we're going to take a break. And coming up is news at the top of the hour, followed by 